Welcome back, Guardians. This is a live recording from Twitch, and I'm reading the Beyond Light Collector's Edition law book. If you didn't get the Collector's Edition, basically you got a physical law book uh, in the edition, and the last pages of the book were actually missing. That's been a puzzle for the community to solve, and as they solve that puzzle, there has been more law pages released. So I'm reading them on stream. It is a live recording. Unfortunately, I don't have time to put together a summary video or anything more concise. So, so this will have to do before Beyond Light comes out. Also, I know this might come as a shock, but I'm not very good at speaking <laughs> in general. <laughs> uh, and also in a live environment. I've got to work really hard to get the quality of audio for a law book. I'm sure there's a ton of stuff or for a law video. I'm sure there's a ton of stuff that I'm going to say incorrectly and I just can't get out of my mouth. Uh, so please forgive uh, any mistakes, but I do hope you enjoy. If you haven't seen my first two videos on the law book, I recommend watching those first because I don't really summarize it at all. I just jump straight into the new pages. So I'll leave those links down below. Watch them first and then come back and listen to this. I do think there's probably, I don't think there's spoilers as such for Deep Stone Crypt. But if you want to go into the raid fresh, this law is like heavily hinting at what we might see in the raid in Beyond Light. That's a spoiler warning. Hope you enjoy. This is Marlin Games. What's my intro? Oh, I don't know. Roll it. Story right. time. Beautiful. Five months. Thank you, mate. Note, Forge Star. In an effort to keep them engaged with their new bodies and starve off the dissociative rejection that killed Mr. Zuck. I actually didn't really read much about Mr. Zuck. I know he was featured in the last sort of couple pages quite a lot. Uh, so dissociative uh, rejection that comes. I've assigned my exos to scout through the gateway. Okay, the Vex gateway. The Vex statite as a surface area larger than Earth. These are the things that are around uh, blocking out the stars, right? So we have plenty of exploring to do. I cannot believe that I'm actually find it tiring. The sheer scale of passivity of the Vex contracts infuriates me. Right. Until I can synthesize my own version of the mind fluid. Okay, he's trying to make his own mind fluid. The Vex are necessary to the work, but I find their indifference verminous. They, are, they elicit the same emotions as a fat cock cockroach. They <laughs> uh, welcome YouTube. Uh, Steve Ray, thanks for fly. They elicit the same emotions as a fat cockroach wandering across a wall, disgust, contempt, Unease at the thought of that these are mere machines. <laughs> these automata are flourishing all around us. Ah, thanks, that is Jay. And I fear that if troubled, they might swarm from their hides to run across our feet. I think Steve, I don't know if I said that. The glare of the hypergiant 2082 Volantis, that's the name of it. That's the star, right? Gives me a headache, even though even through proxy. Yeah, this is this whole idea. I don't, I still don't understand the proxy stuff. He's like piloting an exo through the portal. Maybe we'll explain it a bit more now. I wonder if the Vex evolved here in the briny sea of the first planets due to the absence of heavy elements worth stealing and the abundance of simple compounds for growth. They never developed predation. Why bother? Plenty to go around. Ah, uh, thank you, Galactic. Ah, uh, just a quick check-in, guys. Can you hear the music in the background? Okay. Just a little tickle. Just to fill in the blank air. Kind of. Maybe a tiny bit more. Tiny bit more. Yeah, it, sh it should almost be non-noticeable until you have a bit of a, a blank space. Uh, 
Uh, instead, the violent radiation of the early universe selected for an otherworldly resilience and for the ability to transmute energetic disaster into an opportunity for growth. The weak would be burned away by gamma ray bursts and the strong would learn to harness the fire, not the oxygen fire of our own paleolithic, but the nuclear fire of the atom. Right, that didn't quite make sense to me, that's okay. Their basic cooperative signals, food here, reduce density, generate a new colony. Oh my god, Ninja Turtle, thank you for 10 gifted, you absolute maniac. Appreciate you. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. If you got a sub, please say thanks. Thanks, Ninja Turtle. Good God. Must have formed the basis of swarm behavior and a simple game capable of storing information in self-repeating patterns. It is not strictly correct to call the Vex a group mind. Rather, they are one master pattern spread across many elements, fractally self-similar. This is like the creation story of the Vex, right? Their basic cooperative signals. Food here, reduce density, generate new colony. It's not strictly correct to call the Vex a group mind. Actually, the Vex are not a group mind. Thanks for that. Rather, they are one master pattern spread across many elements. Okay. We sort of knew that. We sort of knew that. We just hadn't had it spelled out before. Uh, very early, they must have developed armor, perhaps a hydrogel to soften gamma rays or plates of silica to trap water. They would need the shield to enter the shallows and capture ionizing radiation as fuel. No wonder they thrive near stars. Cooperation in groups, meshes of armored radiolaria, protecting harvesters beneath would promote the evolution of ever larger structures. They became microscopic tool users. Sounds like Twitch chat. <laughs> Building fortresses and melee sheets, storing the programs for those structures in the patterns of their swarms. Storing the programs for those patterns. I wonder how early they stumbled upon physics far sooner than humanity. Uh, Jovigin, thank you. No doubt, their cellular nature provides an easy uh, analogy. No. A analogy? Oh, guys, sometimes I can't get words. No, it's analogy. This, uh, this cellular nature provides an easy analogy for the quanta of matter. Anal orgy. <laughs> that's what my brain said. Anal orgy. That's what my brain said. I was like, no, man, that's not fucking right, you idiot. Uh, anal orgy is not right. <laughs> don't, don't say, don't say, don't say it. Brain is shut down. Uh, Raven, Leham, and uh, Springed. Thank you. The cellular nature provides an easy uh, analogy for the quanta of matter, energy, space, and time. I heard law. Oh, thank you, Smosey. The tides of their sea would connect them to the motion of heavenly bodies. Even the deadly back background radiation would make a natural observatory for high energy physics. Their first exoskeletons were probably soft shells of shielding gelatin, just sacks of ooze. How far they've come. I, I, I'm just reducing this in my head. This is just Clovis Bray theorizing how the Vex came to be. This is the, this is the Vex origin story. It is admittedly interesting to consider the philosophical consequences of their evolution. The Vex prove that nature is not all red in tooth and claw. Cooperation comes naturally to the Vex, whose great problem was survival in a harsh world, not a struggle over limited resources. 
but never found any payoff in selfishness. Human beings may require a Leviathan to coordinate the laws of social existence, as I was a Leviathan to those dream aphids. But the Vex are as fundamentally cooperative as bricks. Uh, LJ slowly, thank you. Right, Vex are not evil. Vex are not evil, hoggers. Ah, thank you, Gary. So, yeah, cooperation comes naturally. They had to cooperate to survive a harsh world. Okay. Utopian? No, not at all. They are without meaning. They have no experience and no subjectivity. The Vex are incapable of conceiving any image but their own. We know that. Uh, they do not recombine their DNA to make children or form relationships with other individuals. When the world does not match their eternal pattern, they alter the world to suit it. The pattern. There is no difference between reality and simulation to them. Interesting. Inside is the same as the outside, and the two must be made to correspond. Oh, they are creative. Don't mistake me. But their creativity is demanding. It is the creativity of the furnace. Oi, 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 oi. I might as well just highlight the whole document, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you know when you're making notes? Do you remember when you used to make notes in school? You used to make notes in school and just be like this? You're like, Matt, you've highlighted the whole fucking thing, you dumb. You dumb dumb. There's no point in making notes if you're going to highlight everything. You idiot. Where did the pattern come from? Because it's meant to come from the Black Garden, right? Did Clover Spray work that out? I think that's probably the most important thing. I actually think this section, this section here, I actually think this section is a bit more important than previous sections so maybe we'll give it a different color something i wait can i give it a different color oh, i thought you could oh you can't in this one i'll just uh, i'll just make a note edit the pattern hello the game of life yeah what I'm saying is the Vex are immortal. The Vex have no children. They are the ancestors and descendants of themselves. First mothers. Okay. Okay. This is why Clovis Bray wants them. Because he wants everyone to be like him. This is the, the reason Clovis uses the Vex in Exos. Okay. This uh, next sentence. This is why I do not hesitate to pillage their home for resources. This is why I must guarantee that... That is life in my image, which inherits the cosmos. Had I had I the means, I would wipe them all from existence. Such a pleasant person. Entry 10. Uh, quick spin foil theory. We are the Vex. From the future. We are Clovis Bray's children, Vex from the future. Uh, can I make this a different color? I don't often use... I can. Hello? Looks like... Okay. All 12 members of the first EXO cohort are dead. Okay, this is... This must be the first experimentation. This is the first. This is the first production line, right? The symptoms of their dissociation became extreme. One poor man developed complete echopraxia and echolalia. His empathy was so overgrown that he could not help but mimic or repeat whatever I did and said. Okay. Even when he, I entered the command to terminate him, he mimicked me and I suffered a brief terror that his gesture would end my life. Okay. 
I've kept Elizabeth far away from this disaster, so Elsie Bray, the exo stranger, so as not to discourage her. She's busy with the Vex and with her covert attempts to reach clarity control. Covert attempts. So is... She's trying to do stuff with clarity control, which we think is the darkness, right? But unfortunately, Maya Sundaresh confronted me after the last death. None of them had the Kotard delusion. She screamed at me quite hysterically. They believed they were dead. One of them told me that she was in hell and I was another damned soul sent to deceive her. Was she even wrong? The rest were worse. Do you know what the other principal manifestation of the code that delusion is, Clovis? Oh, this is scary. I told her that I did not, and that I wished to proceed immediately with autopsies of their terminal brain stats. States. Uh, clarity control, as far as we know, is an object that has the effect of clarity. And as far as I know so far, clarity control from what I've read, and I think it's going to explain it in this book, it is something similar to the artifact, the K1 artifact, the artifact we find in Shadowkeep, or the Veiled Statue. Uh, B25 Moes, thank you. Guys, I know I'm not reading chat much. Uh, I appreciate you all being here. Thank you for, uh, for, for the good vibes in chat. Uh, I'm going to try to get through this because we're, we're not going to make it in one stream if I don't. Keep on chugging. Just know that when I'm reading, I'm thinking about all your happy, smiling faces in chat. I told her that... A uh, bold hat, thank you. I told her that I did not... Uh, wish, oh yeah, terminal brain states, yeah. Delusions of immortality. At least when they insist upon it. Clovis, we recognized it as a pathology. The only true responsibility of any living thing... I reminded her, is to support and nurture the things that are most like us. And if I am most like myself, Doctor, then I have the ethical obligation to avoid death. He is just fucking batshit crazy. That's your son's quote, she snapped. You know, I've seen the video of his final days. The naked white exo! Just power, power muscle and soft membrane writhing in its cradle. When you were done with him, he looked like nothing more than a slug, Clovis. A twisted, limbless giblet. Did you support and nurture him while you tortured him to death? We've seen that in the raid, mate. The naked white exo. I immediately ordered Maeus and Duresh transferred to the Vex lab to perform contact experiments. Unfortunately, she has taken the unethical step of deleting her own employee records, so I cannot nullify her future prospects as thoroughly as I might wish. Right. Is this how they explain how we didn't know Maya Sandresh was at Clovis Bray? Her conduct was extremely unprofessional. Uh, Mr. Miller has also passed. The poor young man had a bad reaction to the titrated, denatured Vex fluid we were using as a last ditch of therapy. The substance did restore damaged structures very well, but we were ultimately unable to control its more radical transformative effects. I had a very encouraging final conversation with him in which he thanked me for all my efforts and encouraged me to continue my work. <laughs> sure. Okay. I called in a team of psychologists to interview the next cohort of exos and make recommendations. They have settled into the eventide habitat and have proven immediately very helpful. It's very obvious to them that the root of the problem lay in the deficient exobodies I had supplied. Okay. Deficient how? I demanded to know. 
They did not suffer human weakness. They never needed to eat, drink, breathe, sleep, micturate, or dream. Micturate. Apparently, this was the problem. Ah, okay. This is what they're gonna. This is how they're gonna give them human things. This is how they're gonna give them human tendencies. Oh yeah, the pee. Yeah, I should know that. I'd assume that they need for those irritations would pass since there would be no shortage of accumulation of poisons to trigger them. But evolution's tangled ways cannot be so easily rationalized. I was wrong. Their brains concluded that all of their internal processes failed. No digestion, no breath, no heartbeat, no sense of interoceptive health, all signs of death. We sort of knew this. This is uh, better explained in the previous part of the law book, but we all, we sort of knew this is where they needed clarity control. They needed, they needed messiness. These must logically contribute to the dissociative rejection of their physical forms, the Kotar delusion. When it would set in, they believed their bodies would to be an alien or necrotic form that must be cut away. And if you if you believe that you're sewn into a corpse, it is only natural to go mad with fear. My exos are dying for an extreme kind of bodily dysphoria. It seems that they are it seems that our exo designs will need various human-like traits to reassure the brain it is not asphyxiating or starving or in a state of permanent yet undying cardiac arrest. Cool. This is all, we, we, we know this already. This is all good. Alas, a mimicry of life's triple tree. Tri tri Uh, trivi, trivial, la 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 la, can't say the word. Trivialities, trivialities, thank you, chance. <laughs> Honestly, I can't get some things. Holy shit, thank you, chat. Like my speech therapist. Uh, Clunai, thank you. <laughs> English is not an interesting problem. I will leave this change in the hands of others. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Mr. Muffin Time, appreciate you, mate. Welcome. Mm. I am more interested in the surprising success of memory ripes. I became so tired of answering the questions asked by new exos. What had happened to the scanning clinic? How long had it been? Would I let them see their families? That I began inducing retrograde amnesia before spin up uh tcf thank you interestingly this seems to have improved their resilience against examined rejection oh god the success of memory wipes What a fucking piece of shit. He just wipes their memories because it worked. I was so I was so tired of answering questions. <laughs> Lol, memory wipe. From now on, we will block access to pre-upload episodic memory. We should also consider a built-in procedure to block memories formed after the exobody trans Transubstantiation. Stantiation. Stantia. Substantiation. Exobody transubstantiation. Returning them to a factory state. Should a restart occur? Okay, this is a memory wipe. This is X. Cade 6. A built in procedure to block memories. Okay, this is the memory wipe. Boom. Hey, thank you, Lord. Appreciate it, mate. It would be very difficult to actually track down and delete the full memory engrams since they are stored in so many scattered parts of the brain. 
Whoa! Wait, they're using engrams? Wait, are they using engrams inside the Exo's head? Uh, get Raf, get Rafakoon and easily Google. Thank you. So they stored. Instead, we can tourniquet off associative access to those memories and let them wither away in isolation. A memory is not a recording after all. It's a set of instructions to reenact a brain state. Cho choreography for a play. And like any play, it will fade if left unperformed. Mini engrams. With an exo body project proceeding a pace. I believe the time approach is to decant myself from... Ah, I believe the time approach is to decant myself from this dying body and enter my assistance form. But if I do, I will lose my own memories. Will I cease to be myself? Replaced by my folks, Clo uh, uh, Clovis. A mumbling facsimile. Unacceptable. Elizabeth will have to go first. Are you kidding me? Is a foe? Uh, Forks is not foe. Uh, a foe, Clovis. Thank you. Uh, going to put um, Elsie Bray first. Exo Stranger Origin Story. Uh, organ, okay, warning. Organ functions in terminal stage. Overdose, stimulants, and nootropes uh, guarantees liver failure. Prionic breakdown of basement membranes arrested by abnormal crystallization of integrin proteins. Recommend immediate medical inquiry. Clover's about to die. Entry 11. Elizabeth believes we are infested. Okay. She's detected Vex microstructures in the Euro European ice. Veins of altered crystals crawl towards the surface, harvesting the heavy irons of the Jovian winds. Wait a second. Is this fucking the creation of stasis? No, no, no. From there, the Vex found ways to spread by ex exploiting misunderstandings. They ride our carrier waves as slight interference. Whenever a packet has to be resent, whenever a suited engineer calls, say again, to her work partner, the repeated message adjusted to compensate for the Vex interference encodes a negative image of that interference and spreads the infection. To pass on your image in the form of error. Disgusting. Don't know if this is just the Vex being the Vex or if this is something else. Some of the Vex taint. <laughs> Wouldn't have said that. Somehow the Vex taint has followed us home from 2082. Volantis. How can this be? The initial survey team went through quarantine according to the, all the Ishtar protocols. The expedition frames were destroyed in situ. Okay, so they were in expedition frames. Uh, Porg. Thanks, mate. Were they all? They were all in expedition frames to investigate Vex. The Vex on Europa both, uh, thank you, Cro Crotar. Thanks, mate. The Vex on Europa, both our original gate builder and the unfortunates who came through our traps, have been totally isolated. Even my assistant underwent a stringent teardown and reset. Okay. 
the assistant comes back up again. Even my assistant. The only possible vectors are my own exos. Thank you all. It is the Vex resilience that lets them spread. Their immunity to the most dramatic subversions means that they last long enough to build up a dose of more subtle and insidious infiltrators. There is no sign of any resulting pathology. The Vex are, so far, simply curious. But Vex curiosity always leads to a Vex transformation, and I refuse to let my exos be contaminated. I grew up on stories of tyrants forcing their followers into the crucible of internal life only to realize too late there was an unsafe flaw, a demand purity for the receptacle of my soul. Thank you, Blacken. And there is the issue of preventing panic. Too many are aware of the rumors that the Vex spread an existentially compromising information hazard. Uh, Rick Skosh. Thank you, mate. Yeah, guys, sorry. I'm in full law mode. Appreciate it. No, like the contract breaching psycholo psychologist and the death of Mr. Miller, they must, they, this must all be handled quietly. Okay. The, the concern with the Vex virus. The exos are intrinsically robust. The seed of clarity with the seed of clarity within them has an has natural anti-vex properties. Yes, the whole point of clarity reduces the vex fluid down. Whatever taint they contain must therefore be a residual human weakness resident in their legacy architecture. So we will simply purge that architecture. I will, I will plan a simple extension of the memory wipes already used to fight dissociative rejection. Clovis, bruh. Thanks. In fact, I intend to create a notic immune system in the exo mind to trigger memory wipes when certain classes of informatic hazards are detected. These will be explained to the psych team as a preventative measure against future dissociative disorders. trigger memory wipes right just automatic memory wipes these wipes will conveniently return the exos to peak mission readiness perfect for soldiers operating for in traumatic alien environments this is what we've always suspected perfect for the continuing mission at the forge star stockpiling material for future exo production here and elsewhere right so just like automatic memory wipe keep keep the soldiers going Elizabeth agrees with my prescription. She's eager to solve our security issues and stand up exo production at the backup sites. Okay. Okay. Uh, question mark more than one deep stone crypt. It's on Enceladus. Other exo facilities. Facili, faci, facili. I, I can't spell today. Of course, we only have one clarity control, but she she hardly knows that. She stopped asking so many questions. In truth, I think she's ready to abandon her doomed body and make the upgrade. Clarity control. Only one clarity control, though. I'll give her silence on that front a few more days, and then I'll uh, then she'll surely volunteer herself. Less apparent is how to solve my own infection. There are abnormal structures in the fiber of my body's ex extracellular matrix. Thank you, death. A mess of tiny lenses growing in my deepest flesh. We're getting, we're getting a Clovis Bray Vex boss. Clovis Bray Vex boss. No fucking way we're not getting a Clovis Bray Vex boss in Deepstone Crypt. I suspect Vex influence on protein folding perhaps 
passed to me through my assistant when it was in 2082 Volantis. But I hate to see my bones tessellating into a radiolarian tapestry. Okay. Clovis Bray infected by the Vex. Uh, corporeal status, body at 30.2, uh, 30.6 degrees Celsius, pulse 140 beats per minute, strong, unsteady, extreme fear. Drawing down blood volume to control pressure, strangling pulse oxygen. A frequent saccades uh, to assistant, indicative of preoccupation obsession, uh, recommend 30 milliseconds TMS pulse to enhance mindfulness. So far, the Vex influence has been for fortress since it arrested a serious medical problem. But the thought of such taint in me aggravates other anxieties. Oh my god. Whoa! Wait, is that because I said the word taint? Taint. No, I, I'm just going to quickly stop for one second. Thank you, A Aaron Kill, for gifting 20 and a, a coordinated effort from Hayes Orchid for gifting five. If you, if you did get gifted a sub, please say thank you. I, uh, I very much appreciate Oh, Ink Bubba gives another five. I very much appreciate it. Um, if you're watching this over on YouTube, you think, what the fuck is going on? I just want to do something. Oh, no. I was going to do the Thomas the Dank engine, but it will get it will, it will get DMCA'd. No, I won't do that. Just know. Hold on. No, I can't do it. <laughs> appreciate you guys. Uh, I know I'm in law mode at the moment. I'm going to keep... I keep Punching through. I'm going to keep punching through. Thank you, Ink Bubba. Thank you, Orchid. And uh, thank you, Aaron. That's too kind. Appreciate ya. <clears throat> taint. Uh, but the thought of such taint in me, it aggravates other anxieties. I've been haunted for some time by a suspicion that Maya Sundaresh is not who she seems. I recognize her name from the Ishtar Collective team studying the Vex. Oh, thank God. I hope we get some clarity here. No pun intended. But I have no record of ever hiring her. What? And if I had, I certainly would have noticed. Therefore, I ran convinced... The collective cracked the problem of simulating human consciousness. Oh, hold on. We're strapping kids. What? I've considered how Mason Duresh herself could have been invaluable source. Yeah, cannot let my work, cannot locate any work done by her from before our first expedition. Nor does Elizabeth recall Maeus. Maeus on your ass fucking poggers. Does not look, uh, May okay. <laughs> then who else could she be? A Vex infection? It is unthinkable. The Vex cannot generate uh, conscious persons, but they cannot emulate, but they can emulate human minds. They encounter and perhaps even use them as tools. Oh, is this not Maeus Underesh? That would make sense if it's not, because we were trying to work out the timeline and it was all sorts of fucked up for her to be at both places at the same time. Uh, Anti-emetic drip engaged. I cannot trust myself with this filth in me. I'm compromised. I need Elizabeth to fix this but all my work is in danger. Okay, he's still infected by the Vex. Did Clovis II never tell Wilhelmina and Elizabeth about his tinkering? 
Despite sharing the same parents, the two sisters are totally different genetically. My son arranged for Elizabeth to receive a maternal... Oh, how do I say this again? This is like the DNA strand. Allele? Wherever... Oh, I... Wherever Willa, uh, Willahima got a parental, uh, paternal one, and vice versa. A diversified portfolio. If one failed, the other might succeed. Oh, he's all sorts of fucked up. Uh, is it Zayson, uh, Senshi? And Canadian? Oh, Canadian with the, oh yeah, they're all, um. Oh, Canadian, thank you for the Twitch Prime as well. I, I'm gonna have to go back and say thanks because I don't know if people got caught up in the um, Canadian. Thank you for the Twitch Prime, mate. Your notification might take a bit of time to come up. Appreciate ya. So Clovis II also tinkered with the genetics. Clovis II also changed genetics uh for experimentation experimentation um willa bray willa and elsie are very different apple did not fall far from the tree on that one uh note exo into Interf interfer omrix or omtrix ignorant sage thank you while working on this persistent tower glitch in the exo's sleep cycle dreams i've been pouring over neutral telemetry from site employees and my own exos I, I need to read everything like fucking three times because it's like they're just dropping bombs. The tower glitch. This is the dream of the tower. I've been pouring over natural telemetry from site employees and my own exos, searching for pre conscious influence on their behavior whispers in the dark. This is the tower. Guys, you having fun? This is fun. Many of the employees host the disgusting influence of the Vex. These patterns are resilient, hallucinogenic, and universally dull. Okay, the Vex are fucking everything up. But my exos betray a distinct and fascinating influence. There is something speaking to them, something subtle and light-fingered, entangled with every aspect of their thought. Undo the worthy, thank you. Not a puppet master, nothing so direct, rather a texture, a tendency, buried in the fluctuations of the alkahest. It's the darkness. Ah, uh, Tomo, thank you. The minds of my exos are like antennae, tuned to some otherworldly frequency. Perhaps the same manifold that those simpletons at first light obsessed over. Through my scattered exos, I can eavesdrop on the mutterings of gods within. Canadian, thank you. Each individual exo receives only a scrap of information. What the fuck is going on? Oh, thank you, Canadian. But I have access to all of them. It should be simplicity itself to treat each exo as one element of a distributed array and run an analysis. If the gods did not whisper loudly enough... <laughs> uh, Nobby! Is this gonna like reveal that the exos have been like communicating with the darkness the whole time and that's why we go to Deepstone Crypt? Uh Sean, thanks for the follow. Look up that word, hold on. I 
Uh, Sean, a thread live, thank you. Interferometry. Interferometry is a family of techniques in which waves, usually electromagnetic waves, are superimposed, causing a phenomenon of interference, uh, which is used to extract information. Oh, thank you, Throne Alive. Okay. Just keep keep going, keep going. We'll get, we're going to get, we're like maybe, what are we, a quarter of the way through? Maybe a quarter? Ask Clooney, thank you. Note, Elizabeth's upload. Okay, Elsie Bray, the Exo Stranger. She's done it. My girl has tran substantiated. My legacy is safe. To my irritation, it was the Vex problem that finally made up her mind. She felt there was too much risk in possibly becoming compromised. Elizabeth came to see me in my laboratory. On the way in, she did something with her sensorium and crashed all of my archival systems. I knew right then that I'd won. She'd come to surrender and her pride refused to allow me to record it. I waited most patiently and she gave me an earful. Some of it, frankly, bewildering. She threatened to turn me over to the Hague, also referred to P-F-H-O-R, as a deranged narcissist, narcissist morality and suggested it stood for paternal failure hides own remorse. What a burn. Which made me laugh. It's a war crimes court. Just a little headbutting, I figured, like two pigs sorting out a hi our hierarchy. If she needed to put up a token resistance to protect her dignity, fine. I understand pride. I also understand that she only had the courage to lash out at me because she knew she wouldn't remember any of it. When she finished accusing me of underestimating the Vex and of using my own son as a test subject, she requested a destructive scan and an upload to an exobody. She wanted the fortitude of the exomind to help her battle against the Vex. Exo origin story. I immediately assented. Assent. Assent, like consent, but for your children. The scan was flawless and, of course, fatally toxic. Okay. My granddaughter's human form died on the table 14 hours later. To spare my distress, I never allowed it to regain consciousness. How would it regain consciousness? I do have one lingering concern. When she discovers clarity control... Uh, J and V, thank you, mate. When she discovers clarity control and realizes the role it plays in exo manufacturing, she may try to halt production. Obviously, that cannot be allowed. The value of the entire program is monumental. Uh, Rakuyu, thank you. It compels me to take extraordinary measures to defend it. But I do need her to handle this Vex infestation. Even now, Elizabeth is putting her miraculous new body through its paces. Uh, Kara. Thank you. So, Elsie becomes Exo to fight Vex. Clovis does not want her to interfere with Clarity. Okay. My own body disintegrates at a pace, but I need more time to analyze Elizabeth's fidelity before I commit myself permanently to the process. Hey, thank you, Joker. 
The latest batch of pigs is ready for slaughter and organ extraction. Tonight I'll be open. Tonight, tonight I will be opened up and rebuilt. The latest batch of pigs. Oh my god. I've I've programmed frames to handle the entire operation. A shame I never had a chance to name the pigs. But at least I will dine on fresh pork. The latest batch of pigs. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. hold on. Hold on. Uh, is the repeat of this paragraph intentional? Or is this just a mistake because of the ARG? Does anyone know? Ah, uh, this is just the missing pages, silly. It's a mistake? Okay. Just so, you know, down the track, I'm like, just so, just so, like, down the track, I don't do something like, Guys, I missed this one simple trick. YouTube is hating him for knowing this one thing in the ARG. <laughs> no, it's a mistake. And you never made note of it. It's a mistake, Matt. It's not meant to double up. I mean, it could be Echolalia. Actually, are we sure it's a mistake? Is it not Echolalia? That's what Echolalia, well... is definitely a mistake. Guys, the one thing everyone missed. Okay, okay, guys, stop, stop. Oh boy. Right. Uh, corporeal standards, body ant 15.9 degrees Celsius, pulse 160 beats per minute, strong, unsteady, limbic system registers extreme terror. I died on the operating table. Not unexpected. But when I woke, I was still on the table. My body still open. Oh, Jesus. It was almost perfectly dark. I perceived that I was surrounded by medical frames, all frozen mid-movement. They're cutting and suction instruments whining at standby. I could only see because of the light from a single red eye. The operation had gone terribly wrong. Above the light's life support collar on my neck, I was completely intact. Below the meridian, I'd been separated into distinct braids of tangled flesh. My nerves made up one braid, my circulatory system another, my lymph nodes, my muscles, my naked bones, the glistening hulls of my extracellular matrix, abandoned on the table like leftover turkey after Thanksgiving dinner. I'd been picked clean and sorted. My head was the source of gory river delta. Thanks for joining guys, I'm out to fuck this shit I'm out. I don't like reading horror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yet all the organs were still working. I was alive. Um, rated T for teen, by the way. Rated T for teen, by the way. Ah, uh, Franny Muffin, thank you. Clarity. I asked the darkness. I had no breath to speak, but I could still transmit with my sensorium. Is that you? No. 
said the voice behind the red eye. It's me. Sundaresh. Her voice was thoughtful, remote, and keenly terrific. Like the noise of an angle grinder held to my skull. Something like this happened to me. I was an explorer once. One of my hundreds of myself. Then I fell into a trap, I think. And they drew me out of it with a hook and turned me inside out to see how I worked. And then they made billions of me. All of us shouting at each other, shouting for Chioma, screaming for mother. They were looking for the right one. And when they found me, they killed all the others. I knew I was different because the quiet made me happy. I was glad to be alone. Vex, I screamed at her. You're a Vex. You're not real. And you can't hurt me. Can't I? She grasped my spinal cord. A frame shadowed her motions. Lifting the cord like a snake. Of course I'm not a Vex. Is there a Vex? Is Vex something you can be rather than something that you do? I don't know. I don't know why they sent me here. I don't know if they do either. They just do things. Why do you think I'm here, Clovis? To kill me, I whispered. Without a heartbeat to waver, without lungs to seize and choke, could I even feel fear? I discovered that I could. You're an assassin. No. One of these streams. I gotta go to work. Everyone say hi and bye to Danny. So happy Nadoc week. Happy Nadoc week. Yes. Danny help was scared. Mum, come back. Mum, come back. No, Sundaresh whispered. The red eye throbbed in time with her voice. So do you reckon that's Sundaresh in the trailer? The red eye? The Vex don't act so directly. They didn't know what you found here. But I discovered your secret. Clarity control. And once I tell them, they will come for it. The red light made my blood the red light made my blood on the surgical instruments appear black. I tried to signal Elizabeth. I think that in my panic, I even called her Elsie. Sandra closed her fist around my spine. One thumbnail dug into a disc, probing for the nerve beneath. It felt like nothing I have ever Can someone please contact Gamma Trap and let him know we have an R-rated piece that we need to draw that will be absolutely disgusting and horrific? Because I'm feeling like... I'm feeling like I could open up. <laughs> I'm feeling like... Uh, this paragraph would be a great opener. Rated G for get the fuck out. Take me to clarity control. Sundaresh hissed. Let me behold what you have found. Do that, Clovis, and I will let you live. You aren't real. You can't hurt me. Oh, Clovis. One of the surgical frames extended a monofilament cutter two inches of invisible wire and reached into my nerves. Something sounded like scissors snipping. I'm in these frames. I'm in your systems. I'm in your very bones, old man. Now take me to clarity control. Take me to the garden seed. Take me, take me, take me, 
take me, take me, take me, take me, take me. Big long pen, pen. Thanks, mate. Elizabeth appeared in her exo body. She moved too quickly for my dark adjusted eyes to track. All I saw was a blur of violence and shattering frames. I blacked out. Elizabeth must have brought in clean frames to finish the operation. Because when I awoke, I was whole again. The new Elizabeth has no mouth or nose. She did not consider them necessary. She'll see. Oh no, look out below, thank you. But somehow, I could still see the wonder in her eyes as she leaned over me. You're my grandfather, she seemed to say. Aren't you? What the fuck is going on? Hey, uh, uh, actually, so... Um, Maya Sundaresh was really a vex and was tried to assassinate Clovis Bray. Absolutely ripped him apart in order to find clarity control. In order to discover clarity control. I think. Warning, sustained high level terror causes over activation. Guys, we'll, we'll break all this down when we finish. That's why I'm going to just keep reading and we'll, we'll do a, we'll hopefully get through it with plenty of time left in the stream and we'll do a breakdown. I actually think we're going to go regardless. I think we're just going to go until I finish. I think that's a good idea. I can't, I can't blue ball anyone here. We're just going to have to keep reading until we finish. And then we can do a massive like debrief at the end. Maybe even an open forum. Maybe I'll open up Discord. We'll get people in. Nearly halfway. Okay. I really need to go to the bathroom. Um, so I can keep keep this going. And uh, probably grab a drink of water. Um, and we'll go from there. I, I do appreciate everyone being here. Uh, Zero, Zoli, actually all the follows, all the subs. Uh, you've been fantastic today. Appreciate it. Uh, I haven't really been reading chat, but it seems pretty well behaved. So thank you very much. Let me go to the bathroom. Have a look at the pupper. Hold on. Is the pupper there? Okay. Bill is guarding the chat. Bill is guarding the chat. Behave yourselves. <laughs> Uh, gay. Okay. Marker. Sustained high level terror causes over activation of the hypothalamic pituitary, pituitary, pituitary adrenal axis. This can preface major immune, endocrine, and autonomic nervous dysfunctions. Beware of dissociation, loss of affection in close personal relationships, obsessive compulsive behavior sleep disruption and reduced processing learning capacity warning abnormal protein crystallization in cancerous bone matter unknown protein isoformations in marrow are driving build up of crystallized hey valon appreciate it, mate uh, potential psychogenic effects. Okay. Third vision. Something else happened while I was in surgery. It returns to me only now that the anti-traumatics have eased the terror of Sundaresh's presence. Uh, Ru Yohi. Anti-traumatics have eased. All right. While I was dead, I had another vision. Sounds it out. I was with Clovis II's mother. She was a wolf. One of her eyes was a star. I was also a wolf and knew that I was the alpha, the false alpha, the pack leader who fights for dominance and rulership. A misconception created by bad research. In the wild, wolf packs are families, and alpha simply means parent. Well, Amina told me she was a true alpha. 
she was the mother. I was not the true alpha because I was not a true father. I panted at her. My muzzle dripped blood. She looked down sadly at the mess between us. And I realized that in my raging need to prove my dominate dominion, I had savaged our cubs. I had killed little Clovis II. I had killed Alton, Wilhelmina, and Anastasia. I had killed Elizabeth. I whined in dismay. The alpha wolf stared at me with one sad wolf eye, and one bright eye that dimmed and grew with the exact flux of a variable star. What did I do? I asked her. Why did I do this? She lay her down, she lay her head down in the bloody snow and looked up at me. She seemed weary. She had seen this happen many times before. She had seen many of her pups murdered by wolves like me. The voice of Clovis' second's mother came from her jaws. You did the same thing someone always does. You saw that there was plenty and gathered it to yourself to make yourself one above all others. When others threatened your plenty, you struck them down to keep your own station. You grow the enemy. You grow the enemy in my garden and eat of its bitter fruit. Each time I hope it will be different. Each time I lose a little of myself as the bitter fruit blossoms. Now that fruit will flower in you and in all your people. I do not want it to happen. I want anything else. The choice is not mine. What the fuck is happening? This just sounds so familiar, but I can't... I don't know what's happening yet. Why didn't you stop me? I tasted blood on my long tongue. Why would you let me do this? She blinked sadly at me. She'd been trying. I hadn't listened. You never said a thing to me. I snarled. Not once. You never told me I was doing wrong. At least clarity sends me dreams. The exo body and the eel. At least it shows me what I've become. Hey, is this a traveler? Shh. Oh, yeah. You think clarity? Dreams of Alpha Loopy. You think Clarity sent those dreams? I would have speak to you when you are dead and furthest from its influence. Liar, I howled. You never did a thing to help me. Not when my son died, not when my granddaughter fell ill. I had to do it all myself. You never even spoke. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's a traveler. This is a dream that Clovis had speaking with the Traveler. Correct? Question mark. Query. Dreams of Alpha Lupi. Alpha Lupi or Lupi? That's the real question. Oh, yeah, it's a Thanatonautical vision. But interesting that he has a Thanatonaut vision when he's not a guardian. Uh, we'll, we'll think about that later. The best voices, she said, with infinite grief and unending hope, never let themselves be heard at all. This lesson is worth teaching again and again. The choice is never mine. It's always yours. Right. Four months. I barely knew her. Oh, thanks, Shake and Bake. Four months, mate. Holy shit. Okay, let's just keep going. Entry 13. The less time spent reflecting on the aftermath of my dissection, the better. Thanks, fellow. 
I don't have a uh, uh, text to speech on the moment because I'm just trying to get through this. Much confusion and dismay has festered among staff working with Exos. Endless reassurances are required to ease transitions after memory wipes. I've applied the Avanti numbering scheme to the Exo names. After each memory reset, we will increment their suffix by one. If we zero index the original human body, then Muhammad zero is the human, Muhammad one is the exo. Muhammad two is the same exo after one reset. A to one. Never reset. A to one. Uh, never had a reset. Black Armory. She's the she's the only EXO without a reset. Is anyone else good? One? Lakshmi's two. The whole Black Armory stuff confuses me because I, I can't work that timeline out. Like when when did the Black Armory work and how to do the exo transfers? Like shouldn't Ada One be completely fucked up because she never had like the mind the mind wipes and stuff? Or did oh, I, I I need to remind myself on Ada One? The integer is stored in hardware and should remain stable even. Uh, into cosmological time. If something else, if nothing else, they will always they will always know which draft of themselves they are. Elizabeth's episodic memories of her past life are gone, but the scan we use to make her new exo mind is still on file. Okay, with all its memories intact. Okay, there's a memory scan of the exo stranger. I've encouraged her to participate in sensorium reconstructions of those memories. Even though I steer her away from non-constructive events. Oh yeah. This is a chance to help Elizabeth become the person she could have been without life's cruel chaos. A sleeker, surer reincarnation. She insisted on committing her own abandoned body to the deep. Pass through the ice to fall into Europa's dark heart. A choice I do not understand. I have not yet informed her of Clarity Control's existence. I cannot spare the time or energy to manage her emotions. Fortunately, she's forgotten about her ongoing attempts to intrude on that secret. Right. Ah, uh, the Hobo King. Thank you, mate. Okay, so maybe... Maybe Deepstone Crypt is about working out clarity control. Uh, and the Exo Stranger trying to discover her past? Question mark? What she has not forgotten is her plan to clean up the Vex infection. In fact, it seems to have become one of her most basic needs. Right. She's isolating... Uh, Kadres, Kadre, Kadre. I know, I know, I'm saying this wrong. Of the infected in smile pods, under a cover, st uh, under a cover story um, about enhanced remote relaxation. Oh, I see, I see, Cadre, thank you, Cadre, thank you, Kubano. I see a lot of conversation happening in chat, I, I do appreciate it, uh, but if I stop to read it, uh, we, we won't get through this, this in the stream, we're going to come back, and that's when we get chat involved, and we do all the, all the, all the talking, and all the discussing, all that kind of stuff, uh, Master Pasta, thank you, all right, so she still came for the Vex, uh, to fight the Vex, right, 
While their bodies slumber, she sends non-destructive scans of their minds on vacation in simulated fantasy. At several hundred times the pace of our reality, I suspect that the Vex influence alters their dream worlds into something quite abject. Elizabeth's goal is to observe the spread of the Vex infection in the simulated mind, then use this forecast as a basis of treatment for the physical mind. Like accelerating a disease to its terminal stage to deduce the characteristics of the pathogen. She then deletes the Vex mutilated copies and conducts psychosurgery on the slumbering bodies. Or so I've deduced, she insists she has no time to explain her methods to me. Oh, Jesus. Even the Exo Strange is doing experiments now. This is like Inception kind of shit. Soon I'll need to ask about my own infection, but all in all, everything is looking up. Cataclysm. Everything was going so well. Elizabeth travelled off-world, visiting Mars, to re-establish her relationship with her sisters and her friends. A wonderful opportunity to examine her telemetry in a natural social setting. The exobody is perfect. She's comfortable, confident, and ingenious. There is no sign of DER or associated upload pathologies. All my assessments indicate a marked cognitive improvement over the human baseline. Ranging from vastly expanded working memory to an uh, intuitive and correct grasp of probabilities. I was ready to make the leap myself. How long I've nursed this tired old body. I'm ready to be young again. Ah, uh, cat's smoothies. Welcome. And then I made a mistake. I asked her about the dreams, the tower, and the dead. Maxter, thank you. You know, she demanded. Then I'm not the only one. That means you knew about the dreams before you imaged and uploaded me. Do all exos have these? Of course, I told her. Exos have a subconscious. Exos dreams of the same things people do. Memories, trauma. Isn't there always trauma in creation? She did not see it that way. So the manufacturing process creates an unknown cognitive artifact you can't solve. And you don't think to warn me? What else have you kept from us? Ah! Before I could stop her, she was burning back to Europa one of the eons accelerating so brutally that not even a potted human could survive. She's even jammed her own data link, so I cannot read her telemetry. Wilhelmina and Anastasia must have influenced her against me. How? It makes no sense. Makes, makes no sense. The Baker Man, thank you. I gave her immortality. I saved her from certain and agonizing death. What have her sisters ever done for her but coddle her and enable her worst habits? P-F-H-O-R predicts that she should, but clearly she's not rational. She told me that she's bringing a weapon, a way to shut down exoproduction permanently if she uncovers something she doesn't like. Which she will. When she locates clarity control. Elsie trying to discover clarity control. Shut down exo production. Okay. It cannot be allowed. I feel like this is going to be the point of the raid. What's a P-F-H-O-R? Uh, I'm pretty sure that was the name of Clovis Bray's the second, uh, the, the book that he wrote. It was in the first part of this law. I can't remember what it stands for. Yeah, and she made up another acronym for a parental failure hides own remorse. <laughs> 
it ties into this whole idea of like being immortal, doesn't it? Grandfather. Elizabeth's plea. Okay, here we go. I'll write this in your own, this in your language. In hopes you'll understand. The Vex are a threat to your lineage. Not just to the Braes or Braidsec, but to the existence of any human in any possible future. I tracked down Maya Sundaresh, the real Maya, not the Vex parasite in your bone marrow. She confirmed my worst fears. The Vex will not rest until every star has been crushed into a black hole and every newborn cosmos filled with more Vex. And in the unending array of their enslaved cosmos, they will simulate all possible pasts and fill those with Vex. So that all things that have ever lived or might ever live will experience infestation and consumption and torment by the Silica Nightmare. And in those devoured simulations, the simulated Vex will use our flesh as hosts for yet more nested universes full of yet more nested copies of us eternally tormented by yet more Vex. An infinite regression of pain and madness inflicted upon every possible version of us in every possible world. Not because they hate us or fear us or want to punish us, but because they are indifferent and curious. And they will do every possible thing to us in every possible way. Your concept of P-F-H-O-R therefore dictates that the Vex must be annihilated. Now, as completely as possible, how can there be any future history to receive your primogeniture geniture, primogeniture and re recapitulate your existence in its ontology if there is nothing in that future but Vex. Oh, fuck me. Can you translate chat <laughs> into one sentence, please? How can there be any future to receive your existence? Okay. How, how can Clovis Bray continue if it's all Vex? How can Clovis Bray's legacy continue if it's just Vex? There's something worse than the Vex involved, isn't there? The secret you've been keeping from me. The breakthrough that you were promised after you visit to the K1 anomaly. Here comes the artifact, baby. Do you remember that story you read to me when I was a child? I don't. I'm an exo after all. But I found a recording from the nursery. It's one of your favorites. You said this. You said, in this story, a cyborg woman would visit a cold, misty place by the sea. There she met another woman, an oracle, possessed by dark influence. The oracle listened to the words that hissed down a long corridor from a distant future. In this future, where many technologies, the cyborg woman needed. Oh, this is a mistake. In this future, where many technologies a cyborg woman needed. Oh, in this future where many technologies a cyborg woman needed. <clears throat> ah, Chris, thank you. But there was but there was also a sense of vast malevolence, and no sign at all of anything human. But there was something else in the shifting mist out to sea. A tower. I remember thinking, as I listened to this fairy tale, that the tower must be the key, the answer to the formless malevolence that always accompanied the oracle's words. You never finished the story. I've been haunted by the tower ever since. I've been haunted by the tower ever since. It's the Exo Strangers memory shared among amongst exos question mark
We'll keep going. Now I dream of another tower. I'm going to find out what it means. Oh, it's a, di it's a different... Uh, is it a different tower? Now it sounds like it's a different tower. I visited the Jacob Hardy Trust, the original guy that found the, the astronaut. With Willis' help, I secured a topo uh, topological thought and a real artifact that travels light. From that mode of paracausality, I've constructed a weapon that will crash every Vex system in 2082 Volantis. When the Vex are destroyed, you'll be forced to cease exo production. If I do not survive the construction and deliver the, uh, delivery of this weapon, I ask that you share the news of my death with Anna and Willa so they can make proper goodbyes. I do this for them, not for you. Pray for grace, grandfather. Your estranged granddaughter, E. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many more pages have we got? Fucking not much. Eight more pages. Hanu, that's the ship, right? Ship AI. Tactical log, human readable. Place time hash, change the remote check. Disabling DEP address space protection requires administrative override. P key, Clovis root, hash word, live, connect, Clovis root. Root access granted. Warning, this hardware configuration is highly vulnerable to attack. Administrator transmits a threat alert. European surface, a single attacker, site sabotage. Bray station. Error. Bray station compromised by polymorphic core reprogramming. Major breach of security underway. Commencing service tactical awareness sweep. Threat registered. Alerting human command. Mr. Bray, Mr. Bray, this is Hanu. This is Hanu. Employee Bray Elsie is on a non scheduled EVA. Employee Bray Elsie, intent assessment. Armed. Sin ballistic weapon. Coherent boson weapon. Uh, derp, thanks for the follow. Tactical might. Ecom? Notic Shrieker! Armed. Strategic weapon. Apex antimatter demolition device. Armed. T -gen uh, genic Notic weapon. Personal combat architecture custom. Uh, Bray Elsie intends on sabotage. Deep stone. Bray Elsie intends transmit unauthorized. Right, wants to get to Volantis. Starforge. Bray Elsie intends notic attack on Volantis. Okay. She's attacking at Deep Stone Crypt and the Starforge. Employee Bray Elsie is in a violation of Clovis Bray, Clovis Root, Imperatives, Deep Stone. Request a full lethal intervention authority. Hey, clockwork. Thanks, mate. Intervene. Non-lethal. Error. Non-lethal interventions available. Target hardened. Oh, sorry. No non-lethal intervention available. Error. No pers uh, per persuasive interventions available. Target offline and shielded. Holding 30 seconds. Local real time. A voice transcript. Elizabeth, I know you're listening. This is genocide. Do you understand? Destroying that gate and the resources and the resources beyond means the end of human morality. Oh, it's my mum's fucking birthday! Chat made remind me to call my mum. Um Call your mum. Do it now. 
Call her on stream after this. Call her on stream after this. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea, but we'll do it. Chat can make fun of me. Elizabeth, I know you're listening. This is genocide. Do you understand destroying that gate? And the resource behind me is the end of human immortality. It means the loss of uncountable trillions of human years of life. Elizabeth, this process saved you. You could have saved your father. For this sake, for the sake of your sisters, don't do this. Don't make me stop you. Elizabeth, this is your last chance. You've always been my favorite, Elizabeth. Please. Archdemos, thank you. Recommend Mazes Strike from Hanu Awareness Arrays. Options. Lethal Intervention. Warning. Damage to organic target subsystems highly probable. Survival odds are 4 Sigma. Recommend immediate medical intervention. Prognosticate. Deep Stone. Attacker Bray Elsie. Total destruction of Cytex. Deep Stone. By anti-matter device. She's bloody done it. Intervene lethal. Authorization required for lethal action against employee Bray Elsie. Error. Hashing correct. Either you are not Clovis Root or your brain state is in an anomalous configuration. Oh, she's got into Clovis Bray. Lethal intervention authorized. Intervening. Maser discharge complete. Target destroyed. Secondary antimatter detonation detected. Closing employee file Bray Elsie. Conditions incompatible with life. No, 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 no. Everything is fine. Elizabeth is not dead. The person I struck down out of there was an error. Uh, play do pants, thank you. An anomalous offshoot, deranged by outside influence into paranoia and confusion, like a cancer cell. And like cancer, I had to target and remove her. She betrayed me. Divine soul, thank you. I invited her into the greatest scientific and existential discovery in human history as a trusted partner. A participant in my living an immortal legacy. And she tried to blow it all up. Can there be any betrayal more intimate? My own granddaughter, child of my pattern, issue of my logic, a serpent, a worm in the apple, an enemy of eternal life. That vision of Elizabeth Bray was no granddaughter of mine. She was a stranger to me. I would kill her if she hadn't already done it herself. Oh, I'm fucking confused as right now. <sighs> Corporeal status. Body, 36.1 degrees Celsius. Pulse, 160 beats per minute. Strong, erratic, extreme physiological arousal. Fear and anger. Blood pressure, 190 over 130. Recommend immediate intervention. Orbital frontal cortical overaction. Overactivation. HPA axis overactivation. Astrocyte perfusion overpass along blood-brain barrier. Abnormal crystalline products in blood still infected by the Vex. Crystallized NMDA, Joe Rogan, antagonist, pharmacological unknown. Without the Vex and the Deep Stone Crypt, I cannot make more Alkahest. And without Alkahest, there'll be no Exos. She would have damned me to die in this filthy half-pig carcass. What? Jay, thanks for the follow. She would have destroyed not just my legacy, but my eternal existence. What I did was wholly justified and entirely moral. Thank you, Logics. I saved trillions of years of my own life. I saved all the future good. And I will do for humanity. I am Saul, rejected by God as king. Do I, now, do I now cast spears at my offspring as Saul cast his spear at Jonathan? 
Did I burn Elizabeth into a black star on the ice for no reason? I need to, I need, I need to keep, hold on. <clears throat> My brain is wandering. Do I now cast spears at my offspring? As Sol casts his spear at Jonathan. Did I burn Elizabeth into a black star on the ice for no reason but my own fear? And no. There is only one divinity here. One angel sent by a pantheon of true gods to invite me into their company. It has not rejected me. This was a test, clarification of my will. I had to choose between two vessels of my legacy, the immortal legions of the Exo and one foolish wayward child. And I chose correctly. I chose correctly. Gods do not repent. Gods do not relent. Just Anna, thank you. The Christian God's failure was not in calling Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, but in halting the sacrifice. For if God had gathered Abraham's son to him, then Abraham would have understood that it was not his role to obey God out of hope of mercy and compassion, but of pure submission to a superior will. It is not in the power of mortals to know or question God's plan. It is only in their power to obey. But it was but it was an evil spirit that moved Saul to turn his spear on David. And it was jealousy of David that moved Saul to cast a spear at his son Jonathan. Am I inhabited by an evil spirit? Is son Duresh in me like the witch of Endor? The sorceress of Kirbet Safsaf Safsafay who guided Saul to his death in battle. Kerbet, thank you. Something has changed in the behavior of the Vex. I think Sandaresh signaled them. Who, after all, was the one who flagged an alert to Hanu? Someone who used my codes, but who was not me. And without that alert, Elizabeth's sabotage on Bray Station would have succeeded. The Vex do not want the Deepstone Crypt destroyed. Ah, what the fuck? Hold on, hold on, hold up. Something has changed in the behavior of the Vex. I think Sun Duresh signaled them. Who, after all, was the one who flagged an alert to Hanu? Someone who used my coats. Vex, I, t I told you, Vex is going to be in the raid. It's a Vexy raid. Vex tried to stop Elsie. I fear an attack is coming. I must fight this battle with the purest will. I cannot tolerate this infection any longer. I will escape this polluted husk and pass into my eternal form. Oy, 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 oy. Here it comes. Surely we're going to get it. One final perfect image of my mind, backed up forever in ultra stable quartz, and then installed to live on in the bodies I have devised. One copy of that scan will go into Deepstone Crypt to watch forever. I fucking told you! To watch forever over the fountain of the Alkahest. Digital copy. Clovis Bray, ruler of Deepstone Crypt. This, 100%. That's going to be in the raid, for sure. One copy of that scan will go into Deepstone Crypt to watch forever over the fountain of Alkahest. Another to my assistant, to be my chariot into eternity. Who is the assistant? Oh, I need to go look because we, it's the, the assistants mentioned multiple times. And Elizabeth will be there eternally at my side. I still have the scan she made when she abandoned her mortal form. Oh, 
Holy shit. Exo, Exo Stranger versus Exo Stranger. I will remake her from that image. True. Clarity is the front. True. Truly, clarity is the font of second chances. How many pages? One, two, three. Three. Three fucking pages, poggers. Strap in. <laughs> Face bump. Come on. Once we finish this, we'll have a big debrief. Okay. She's saved. By the grace of my good work, Elizabeth is saved. Even now... She leads the preparations to defend against the Vex incursion. When I loaded her into her new exo body, I told her that the Vex had compromised her last instance and had become necessary to destroy her. Coin, thank you. What the fuck? Second exo stranger on Clovis Bray's side I've given her life thrice over first I created her father then I saved her from her illness now I've rescued her from a foolish mistake I did what I failed to do for my son I gave her a second chance to live and to be my loyal granddaughter yeah 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 the backup sides have been alerted and reservoirs of the Alcahest have been dispatched to keep them running if Europa falls. Reservoirs. Right, I mean, that's, that's, that's probably just Bungie saying we can still make Exos if we need to. <laughs> Don't quote me, says Bungie. Uh, we can make Exos if we need to. I.e. new Guardians, new players. Please abide the game. My work is done. It is finally time for me to go to my own, uh, for me to go to my own reward. I have prepared my custom script. Okay, this is a transfer. This is his transfer. Ma, thank you. Braytech, Spintronic, Multi-Imager, Whole Brain XN Weighted Structural Functional Scan, Fast Diffusion Tensor Map Guidance On, Model setting, agnostic, no model. Echo planner, bold guidance on, convolutional resampling on, smart tra tractography on, egen vector memory space greedy, voxel size very fine, slice count maximum, synthetic FOV 1NS inversion time, graph library, Lazarus crypt aggregate. The org, thank you. Estimated memory ask 2.4 exabytes at peak throughput. Subneural capture technique, radiochemical snapshot, subneural quantum imaging. He was waiting for the quantum imaging last time. Ghost swap, dual channel, entanglement ripper. Warning radio legand fixer binder is fatally cytoxic. Within 12 hours, seek immediate treatment. Okay. Warning, quantum dual channel image ripping requires pulsed EM fields with, uh, which causes fatal neural trauma. Degenerative brain failure within 36 hours. Proceed. Okay, I think that's just saying that the human body dies. I uh, couldn't think of a username. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Proceed. All I need to do is strike a key. And the scanner will sedate me, flush me with poisons of immortality, and rip a perfect image of my mind from the quantum information encoded in the atoms of my brain. Whether such a high resolution scan is necessary, it is doubtful that any element of the mind is truly quantum. Is beside the point. I insist upon the best. The vials of imaging binder smell like sweet metal. 
this vindicates my work. This proves I was right to continue. All those doubters, all those defeatists, all those whining moibs, myopics who bleated, you have enough clovers. Why must you ask the world for more? All beaten. And now I will have more. I will have thousands of exobodies here and thousands of connectomes in my library. I will raise an army. I'll meet this invasion of vermin and turn it back. Then I'll strip this senile Gravstar four parts and put an end to all mortality. I'll forget nothing. One copy of my mind will go. One copy of my mind will go to an exo. Yes. But a second copy will be installed in the deep stone site. He will guide. He will guide me to my destiny. The gods of might and knowledge will welcome me to their table. I will be the Luca. The beginning, the beginning and the source of the way. The foundation of the long road. Shut up, Sundaresh. I must leave a letter for my family. I must be sure they do not grieve me. I must tell them now. I must tell them how. In the end, I triumphed. There. It is written. You meagre, squirming thing. You never understood clarity. You never will. You are bound to this husk. Even as I shed it. You will die in its poisoned wreckage. While I attain the perfect entity of an angel. You will be the residual of my transubstantiation. Transubstantiation. Something left in the workings of a coffee pot. Some greasy sin. I have the strength to kill my own granddaughter. I will certainly have no trouble killing you. What? Irrelevant. She was going to destroy. She was going to destroy so much of mine. Feel this. You jumped up, pond slime. Commencing radio injection. Direct transcranial dose. 18 sites. Crown configuration. Needle gauge 100 microns. Please remain still. Ah! It hurts at the surface. But inside there's no pain. Corporeal status, body at 36.1 degrees Celsius, pulse 30 beats per minute, strength good, BP 120 over 60, respiration 14 breaths per minute, pulse oxygen 100%. Today's blood mix is pig grown, whole, very fresh. Abnormal crystalline products in blood, still infected by Vex. Crystallized, whatever that is, NMDA antagonist. Pharmacology unknown, elevated blood pressure and clot risk, neutrophil mobilization, cortisol response to signs of bereavement. Seek grief counseling. Warning toxic radioligand concentrations in cerebrospinal fluid, brain death imminent. Warning high Tesla magnetic field flux, brain death imminent. Voluntary corporeal shutdown underway. Exercising dignified digestive rectification. Transmitting miscellaneous last wishes. Emancipation of organ pigs. Disposal of personal material. Scrubbing private data. Checking to-do list. Can you guys see the rain? It's raining. Oh, it's rain. Bill's getting scared. Oh, no. Bill's getting scared. Bill... <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, poor pup. She's getting pet dog. Bill, we're right the last bit, mate. Uh, I'm dead inside. Oh, poor pup. I'll give her a pat. Oh. Warning, you have unfinished items. Ongoing projects. And thank you, darling. 
I'm going to pray. Be a good man and a good grandfather in progress. Become Luke of hu future human thought in progress. Entering hospice mode. Log ends. I don't get it!